Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick video uh, regarding a problem that I discovered or I came across with an HP um, 6200 Pro small form factor. Now this computer was given to me and uh, <clears throat> when I went to turn it on um, I was expecting it to work and what happened was nothing, nothing on the screen. And uh, I, you know, I was pressing, pressing keys on the keyboard, nothing happened. And then about a minute after I turned it on, uh, all of a sudden the fans began to ramp up and they quickly ramped up to like full blast. So I turned the computer off and I was, I did a lot of troubleshooting. I was trying to figure out what the heck could be wrong with it. So I discovered what was wrong with it and I just wanted to share it with you guys uh, in case you have this computer with this problem. It could be any computer, not just an HP, not just a 6200, but I wanted to bring this to your attention. So I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna try and show you uh, what's going on. Okay. Okay, so here's the computer. And hopefully you can see that I have two of the four original sticks of RAM in there. So that's 2 gigs. And I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn the system on and you'll see what happens. I also unplugged the hard drive cuz I didn't want it to boot. Okay, so here we go. We're getting in the initialization screen, uh, the BIOS screen, and then it's going to say non-system disk or disk error. So there wasn't a beep. Sometimes there's a beep and sometimes there isn't. So that's a normal procedure. So now I'm going to um, show you what happens to cause it to go crazy. Okay, so what I've done now is I've inserted, I, re I removed the two um, RAM sticks that came with the computer, two of the original RAM sticks, and I've installed one of these RAM sticks. Now these, there was two of these, and they were installed in the computer when I got it from my friend. And I'll show you what happens now when I turn it on. When you change RAM on this computer, uh, the manual says to be sure to unplug the power, uh, the power cord, and make sure that this little LED, make sure that little LED goes out because it'll stay on for a few seconds. Because what the manual says is that, um, even without the computer turned on, but when the power is plugged in, um, there's power going to the memory. So they say don't change the memory, don't remove or insert memory when the power is, is going into the board. So if that little green light right there is on, then you should not be changing or uh, installing or, un or removing RAM. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the computer on and you'll see what happens. So nothing's going to happen. Nothing on the monitor. And no beeps or anything. So you wait a minute, about a minute, and then you'll hear the fans start to ramp up. Still nothing on the monitor. There they go. Okay, so the fans ramp up, 
like crazy. And then the only thing to be done is to pull the pull the power cord. Now, what this means, and the reason I'm making this video is because for some reason this computer does not like that stick of RAM. It does not like that stick of RAM. And it should, it should work just fine uh, because the original RAM that came with it, which is this stuff here, there was four sticks of this. These are one gig sticks. And this is uh, 1333 DDR3. And the G skill that's in there right now is 1333. DDR3 um, and I believe both of them are 1.5 volt so that should be fine and even if the voltages were not the same the motherboard should still be able to use the RAM so if you have this problem oh and the other thing I wanted to tell you was that uh, my friend had these two sticks of RAM these two sticks of G-Scale RAM were installed in dual channel in this computer. Um, he bought them brand new. He bought the RAM new. And uh, he said that the computer worked fine when he installed the RAM. And then he had the RAM. I guess he was using the computer for a while. I'm not sure how long. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure if he said how long. And then he went to turn it on one day and it wouldn't boot just like I just showed you. So I tried this same RAM, this G-Skill RAM, in another computer I have which has an i3-3220 processor and it wouldn't it wouldn't boot with this RAM either. So I don't know whether the RAM is dead, damaged, or whether this computer just doesn't like the RAM. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to uh, make a quick video and uh, just make a quick video to help any of you out who might be having the same problem. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye for now.